uh, a note on some of the stories of uh, Ionuca Caragiale, uh, schițe și momente as they are called, sketches, be an approximate translation. Anyway, there are accounts uh, that are again both funny and they work as a sort of a satire. Um, they highlight some of the bad habits, um, the um, um, idiosyncrasies, um, the wrong things people do in various uh, situations. Um, for instance, I'm thinking now of Bubiko. Um, there's a dog there, uh, and there's a dog in the uh, narrative. And that's his name, Bubiko. It's true, it's the kind I... I was tempted to say I, I do not like especially, but actually I, I dislike. I tend to have animals, but there are some which I find annoying. Uh, this is um, sort of a poodle, if I'm not mistaken. And something small anyway in size and uh, from my experience the small dogs tend to be uh, suffering from what in humans is called the Napoleon complex there's a harding effect uh, and we see that tall people get elected Trump and others like him uh, Harding president which gave the name to the effect and CEOs in uh, the top uh, Fortune 500 biggest companies, the CEOs tend to be about a third, uh, again very tall. Uh, they are one, 185 centimeters tall and high and taller. Uh, and in the population of large, they represent only about 3%. So they're something like 10 times uh, uh, more present in uh, leadership than uh, the large companies and other companies actually uh, than their uh, presence in the general public would suggest. Uh, Napoleon was short, as we all know, and he tried to compensate uh, for the fact that he was so small comparing with people around him by conquering, um, defeating others and hence this, uh, this thing which in dogs uh, takes the form of uh, uh, unusual aggressiveness. Well, it has to do with the, the defense mechanism. Survival of the fittest. If they don't have muscle and size, uh, they need to use something else and that's the continuous barking. I know when we go out with a barker which are giant and don't feel a special need to be... In fact, they don't make noise. That's part of their breeding indeed. That, that they, The Russians, their Russian hounds, needed them to hunt in the woods and not make noise and scare the prey. Um, but um, when we pass uh, the gates and the fences of others, they're a number of small dogs which come barking and attacking. And Bubiko in this uh, short play is creating all kinds of uh, disturbances and uh, havoc until he is um, uh, neutralized. <laughs> That's the word the Turks use for the guy who killed the Russian ambassador these days. And people don't know exactly what that means. They killed him, what they did. 